It's amazing. Praise the name. It is amazing. That's 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 what I'm moving with with words like that. Amen. It Praise is God. amazing. God. The minute you find it so amazing, it amazes me. Amen. I don't care. I've been a Christian for a while, not so long, but for a while. But the time, all the time that I'm being a Christian, it God just mesmerizes me and amazes me in the way he do things and who he do it through. I'm this amazing here, amen, at Brother Butts and I, while he was singing, I, I retrospect back in some, his family member I had met not long ago when I did the uh, wedding ceremony in Myrtle Beach a while back here. It just it came back to me and said it was there all the time. It was there all the time. But see what the devil try to do. The devil will try to rub out the handprints of God. See, God already had his hand on us. He put the imprint on us. And the devil tries to rub it out. He can't rub it out. And because of that, the church had been a responsibility had been placed on the church that God left for the church to keep. Keep his name. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw. Oh, oh man, unto me. How is it going to be lifted up to the church? It's the church responsibility. Thank God for Brother Butts. I call him from time to time and and just make them laugh. <laughs> and because of that, I, I thank God you're lifting up Christ. When you engage yourself with others, you lifting him up. Amen. Amen. You got the first. You can't scale a fish before you catch him. And I think that was a little problematic to anybody of Christ. More, a lot of time he was trying to scale a fish before they catch him. Uh, I'm, I just love him. I thank God for my wife making that known. Yes, I do. I love him. It's, I don't know. God let you see things. And God can see things in us that we can't even see in ourselves. No wonder when God called on the prophets and even us, sometimes we say, oh, I'm not worthy. Oh, I got unclean lips. I ain't. Yes, but God see things in us and he can bring it out of us. What did he say? God, God is like that. So we honor to God this morning and to all the elders. And then we see them online, the evangelists, and everybody online this morning. We thank God for all. Oh, y'all, everybody's special to me. Yeah, you are special guests. Amen. So we are grateful for that. The reason you're a special guest is because you are in Christ. And you find it not Robert to be online. Amen. And join in with the sense this morning. Our inheritance is, is among the sense. You know, iron sharpens iron. Amen. It blesses me. It blesses you. We blesses one another our testimony in him. So we are very grateful this morning for we have this freedness in Christ because we receive his gift. We receive it. And if you receive the love that he shed and have for us, you be, because of that, you are blessed. It opens the door for you. Amen. Amen. To, to uh, let the manifestation of his manifold grace I love the way the teacher with Sunday school. Uh, I love him too. I love all of you. I love Elder Johnson too because he was so anointed with that. Oh my God, he couldn't he, he couldn't hardly stop. <laughs> so we are very grateful for that. Well, that's what God does for you. He pushed you beyond yourself. Don't he do it, Robin? God pushed you beyond yourself. I, I'm, I'm grateful for that this morning. Yeah, man. Oh, God is good this morning. Amen. And I thank you. Uh, God doing mighty things for his people. A mighty word from last Sunday on the prior Sunday. And then the Sunday school this morning. It's just a, just a big, big setup. So 
thank God for the love of Christ, the love that shared abroad in the hearts of his people. So we are grateful. We are very grateful this morning for an opportunity to uh, bring God's word, uh, just a continuation uh, of uh, what it was, two, uh, two Wednesday, Wednesday morning or something, and, uh, and the uh, uh, prayer service of scripture, Ephesians 3 and 20. I mean, I don't take this lightly. I, you know, as lowly as it is kept, lowly as it is kept, Ephesians 3 and 20 is so huge. I guess you say, Pastor, you call everything a centerpiece. Well, yes, they all are centerpiece. Amen. We we moved them around. I saw people play chess. I don't know how to play chess, but I saw them on the board. Sometimes you go into Dunkin' Donut, them guys sitting over there and they're moving them chess from place to place. And I see God, it reminds me of how God moves. He moves things around from places to places, but it don't make no sense in, to me how, how they move them things around. But God moves things around in our life. And situation around in our life, as I hear your testimony, he moved things around in our life in order to get to accomplish and get the manifestation that he needs to get in our life. And I, I went, oh, I, I, I love the Lord this morning. Amen. I want you, it's Ephesians 3 and 20, but it's so much more to it than just Ephesians 3 and 20, but I thought maybe that's... Uh, a conclusion of the implication of Paul implicating to the church, right, to his readers. He said, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly and above all we ask to think according to the power that worketh in us now. And then what he concluded, and he said, unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ throughout all ages, world without end. Uh, you see there? It, they abundantly, that uh, exceedingly, up above and abundantly, both of those complimentary words is used, amen, to help encourage me and you. Above every other thing that try to interfere uh, about try to interfere with the manifestation that will come forth in our life when you can, can commit yourself totally over to Christ. You know, you can't get nothing but abundant and exceedingly and manifestation too. I'm not adding anything to the word of God. Amen. The Holy Spirit could move stuff around that we, me and you don't understand. The Holy Spirit will move stuff around that if you're not in the Spirit of God, he'll create an argument with you. But you have to yield yourself to God and hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. God wants to talk and, and look at the implication of this uh, third chapter of Ephesians. Paul, as he was delivered and what was going on in his life. He, he was glad about it. In fact, he opened the whole thing by saying, I'm a prisoner of Jesus Christ for the Gentile. I mean, those who are not saved. And God, that's why God's grace is to everyone. I noticed that in the, when the gospel, I think it was a man, he came on his own and they received him not, but as many as did receive him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. God will not leave. God is a God to all the creation. Everybody may have not accept him, but he is a God to all his creation. And I, that's what I love about God. He opened the door for all of us. And he, Paul wanted to, uh, Paul was, he said, I wasn't born with the other, the, disciples with the 12 he wasn't called with them because paul was doing something else different from they were doing oh god oh my god y'all have to pray this morning with it he was doing something completely different opposite of what he should be doing so he had a confession here 
and we were, God had made it possible for us to listen in on his confession. He called himself a prisoner. Oh, glory to God. Amen. A prisoner of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. In other words, he was captured. Christ, what Christ did at the cross of Calvary and through his death and resurrection, he said, he claimed he was captured and he wanted to share the implication out of his experience. Oh God, oh God bless. And how by the revelation he was made known to him. Amen. Uh, 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 by and to me the mystery. Amen. Amen. He 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 wanted to reveal the mystery that was hidden in the past ages. See, God is constantly revolving and moving. God is always on the move. He don't stay still. He is always on the move. Ezekiel preach about the wheel and all that, and wheel and thing and in the middle of a wheel and. Things like that and wings and eyes and everything. He he that's what God is. He is all those things and more and everything to his people. But we have to receive it. God through the spirit by faith. God works mightily in people. And this is why Paul had concluded in that verse. He concluded and he said, Under him. Oh, he said so strong. Oh my God. He said that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or even think according to the power that, that worketh in us. What kind of power? Paul was, he wasn't talking about our natural strength. He said, he, he mentioned about the affection. The affection. Oh my God, an unsearchable riches. That's, this is how his confession come out. It was so deep. He was willing to Use words like that, affection, working power, amen, amen, an unsearchable riches, amen, amen, uh, which will as a continuation, a continual process. And my thought is that a constant, a constant upgrading process. What it does, it works from glory to glory. When you're in Christ, it brings glory in your life. What glory? The glory of God in our life. And the but it, then it, it, it is exceedingly and abundantly. It don't stay one. Oh, it does not stay one place. You're not one place in him. It's, you're constantly receiving an upgrade. Amen. You know how you receive upgrade? Upgrade. You upgrade your mind. You upgrade. Your spirit is being upgraded. In other words, I'm not what I was. Not even yesterday. I'm not what I was. I'm not what I want to be yet, but I ain't what I was. Amen. In other words, when you look at uh, when you look at in Philippians, uh, the third chapter, Paul said that I may know him, I, I mean better and better, and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. Now, his testimony, amen, is so great and so powerful until it brought about in me, in me, amen. I'm not saying in a, a cliche way, I don't want you to think of it Amen. In a cliche way, it brought about a catastrophic theological collision in my life. And I'm in the spirit. John, see, I'm, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Guess what? John fell in Revelation. I think the third, he fell at, at, at Jesus' feet as though he were dead. And the Lord stand him up. The spirit of God is overwhelming. The spirit of God can take you in places that you've never been unheard of. Such things as unheard of that can reveal to you things that you never heard before. Somebody say, what kind of man is this? Amen. See, I and this, used to sing a song way back. Say, I never heard a man can speak like this man. 
my God. And they say unto him, Paul said unto him, that is able to do exceedingly, exceeding abundantly and above. What that mean is more, more than normal, more than the usual. It's above all. We could ask a thing according to the power that worketh in us. That's the effectual power. Effectual power means that it's not a normal power. You see, there's different type of power we can refer to. But the uh, power Paul is referring to is the effectual power. And the writer writes it a wonder, the, the wonder working power. Wonder. What it do? It, it worked the power so mightily in you, the effectual power. And then Ella Johnson and, uh, you know, and Ella Cooper is the wonder working power, the effectual power of God working is at work in the hearts and mind and life of his people. That's what it does. It works so until what it do, Brother Gammon. I'm glad you asked. What it do, it changes one thought. It changes one heart. Oh, my God. Uh, it changes our ways. Uh, not only that, uh, it changes my walk. Uh, I don't even walk uh, the same way. I, I'm not just talking about for a while. Uh, what it does, it changes you. Uh, and you don't go back there no more. Uh, your walk got a different walk. Uh, but what I'm talking about, uh, it moves you. You got a glorious walk. Uh, a glorious walk. Uh, what it does, uh, it gets God's attention. Uh, amen. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, the walk, uh, the fleshly walk uh, that you were born into. Uh, it's a new walk. Uh, you don't walk the same way. Uh, your footstep uh, is a little different. Uh, the places you go, uh, glory to God, uh, is different. Uh, amen. Uh, everybody here uh, on this line this morning, uh, amen, can identify. Uh, you don't go uh, to the bar no more. Uh, you go to church now uh, in the church uh, and the church in you uh, it's a different walk uh, in other words uh, you don't dance uh, the same way you dance uh, in the bar uh, your dance uh, is different uh, your dance you, you call it uh, if you can identify with this, uh, it's called a holy shout. Uh, amen. Uh. Amen. Uh, but now it's referred to by Paul uh, as the holy prophets uh, and the holy pat patriarch, uh, like Abraham. Uh, Abraham uh, was holy. Uh, what made Abraham holy, Brother Gamble? Uh, amen. His trust in God. Uh, amen. His faith in God. Uh, and I noticed something I was pondering. Uh, amen. Uh, the theme of this chapter uh, for lifting him. Uh, amen. Uh, in other words, the main message in Philippians uh, in, in um, Ephesians, uh, that third chapter uh, or the theme, uh, the message or the theme uh, is uh, this is a gift of God. Uh, can you receive the gift? Uh, uh, let me tell you what a gift is. Uh, a gift uh, is something that is given to somebody uh, at no cost uh, from the individual uh, who give it, uh, but a mighty cost uh, of the one uh, and sacrifice uh, of the one who give the gift. Oh, God. Uh, amen, Brother Gamble. Uh, can you charge uh, for this gift? Uh, is there 
any charge for it. Uh, no, there's no charge of Jesus Christ uh, given uh, for God so loved the world uh, that he give uh, his only begotten son uh, that whosoever uh, believe upon his name, uh, they won't perish. Uh, if you receive uh, that gift, uh, but you got to receive it, uh, you can't own it. Uh, there's nothing you can do. Uh, there's nothing you can do uh, to get this gift. Uh, you have to receive it. Uh, let me tell you how. Uh, I'm glad you want to know. Uh, you receive it by faith. Uh, and it will manifest uh, itself uh, in your life. Uh, the one that receive it, uh, it'll manifest itself uh, through the gladness uh, and the appreciation uh, and the manifestation uh, of the gift of grace. Uh, that you'll find that in Galatians uh, 5 and 22. Uh, the first one of them, uh, you'll have love. Uh, and if you've got love, uh, you can't have love uh, without the other manifestation uh, of the gift uh, of grace of God uh, that is carried on uh, in the hearts uh, of his people uh, that love him uh, and that have this confession. Uh, this confession uh, it brings us uh, into the unity uh, into a blessed place uh, oh God uh, in Christ Jesus uh, that we've never been there before uh, into a blessed peace uh, of God um, that passes uh, and love all uh, understanding uh, glory to God uh, Paul speak about the manifold uh, the manifold blessing, uh, the manifold grace uh, that is extended uh, to all the believers uh, that accept Christ uh, by faith uh, in the hearts of their people. Uh, and I thank God uh, for the mass that, that gone is a constantly uh, upgrading process uh, to his people. Uh, you upgrade uh, by going uh, from glory to glory. Uh, it's a process. Uh, you don't get all uh, in one dose. Uh, when you get one dose, uh, it's so good. Uh, it's the old taste and see uh, that the Lord is good. Uh, it's a sweetum. Uh, than honey uh, in a honey cone. Uh, when you taste it, uh, it makes you uh, go back for more. Uh, when you digest it, uh, in other words, it creates um, uh, a thirst. Uh, it says, oh, come, uh, he that thirsts, uh, oh, come uh, to the fountain. Uh, that's so uh, rich um, and sweet. Uh, cast down uh, thy poor soul uh, at thy Savior. Uh, feet uh, come in today uh, amen and receive uh, a blessing from God uh, it'll bless you uh, beyond uh, your wildest dream uh, glory to God uh, don't mind me uh, I'm just carried away uh, amen uh, the great things uh, and the great promises uh, of God uh, he promised his people uh, amen if you receive it, uh, it's no ending. Uh, glory to God. Uh, praise his name. Uh, amen. Uh, and you, uh, sometimes you get to a drought spot in your life. Uh, you get to them places. Uh, but God has provided. Uh, he has provided uh, everything uh, for you and I. Uh, the Lord will allow uh, some drought sometime uh, to see how great, uh, amen, your hunger is for him. Uh, he said uh, in Philippians, what at uh, one and six? Uh, he said, "Being confident uh, of this very one thing, uh, I don't want you giving up uh, when you get to a drought." Uh, I don't want you giving up uh, when you get to uh, a dry spot in your life. Uh, a policy being confident uh, of this very one thing. Uh, 
that he uh, which began uh, a good work uh, and you uh, will perform it uh, until the day uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, and one day uh, he'll come back uh, and he will reward uh, every man uh, according uh, to his work. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, no physical work. Uh, you may do physical work. Uh, amen the grace of God uh, and the manifestation uh, of his spirit uh, it brings good work uh, amen uh, but I'm talking about uh, works uh, that produce uh, fruit uh, for the kingdom uh, of God uh, he said if I be lifted up uh, from this earth uh, I will draw uh, how are you going to be lifted up uh, through uh, the spirit of God uh, that works in us uh, through the power uh, of faith uh, under the anointing uh, of the Holy Spirit uh, he said on the hill uh, that is able to do exceedingly uh, abundantly uh, above all uh, we're going to ask uh, according to the power uh, that worketh in us. Uh, amen. Your faith. Uh, how great is your faith? Uh, is your faith uh, great enough uh, to receive the grace of God? Uh, yeah. Uh, and nothing else you can do. Uh, don't try to add anything. Uh, don't try to give nothing. Uh, God got everything uh, that we need. Uh, he'll do all uh, that he needs to do uh, according to the power uh, that worketh in you. Uh, he wants us to delight ourselves uh, in the Lord. Um, stop trying to work so much. Uh, stop trying to do so much. Um, the Holy Ghost is able uh, to do exceedingly uh, and abundantly uh, above all uh, that we could even ask the thing. Uh, stop working so much. Uh, rest in the Lord. Lord. Uh, have peace in the Lord. Uh, have faith. Uh, will bring about uh, such a great uh, anointing uh, in the people of God. Uh, in the heart, uh, you don't have to work so much. Uh, God makes things easy. Uh, amen. Uh, you can go through uh, in flying color. Uh, you don't have to worry. Uh, through the manifold, uh, I tell you, we bless one another. Uh, your testimony uh, blesses me. Uh, my testimony uh, blesses you. Uh, it brings about, uh, you know, we are victorious uh, in Christ. Uh, we are. Uh, we have the victory. God can do uh, all things. Uh, we must call uh, by faith those things, uh, Romans 4 and 17, uh, that are not yet uh, manifested yet uh, as though they were. Uh, when we do that, uh, amen. Uh, it will come to pass. Uh, I'm not talking about no magic. Uh, I'm not talking about that kind of stuff. Uh, name it and claim it. Uh, this goes beyond that. Uh, that been a fairy tale uh, for a long time. Uh, but you got to submit yourself, James 4 and 7, uh, unto God uh, and resist uh, the enemy uh, who is the devil. Uh, uh, who is Lucifer uh, and try to keep you uh, from going out into the deep. Uh, you cannot catch no big fish. Uh, you can only catch men uh, on the edge of the water. Uh, you got to go out uh, into the deep. Uh, God told Peter, uh, Jesus said, have y'all caught uh, any fish? They said, no. Uh, and I know the reason why uh, they didn't catch no fish uh, and they fish all night long uh, you know they were great at fishing uh, they would go and catch fish uh, but that time they didn't catch any uh, God didn't let them to catch any uh, so he could bless them uh, he wanted to reveal something powerful to them uh, that they'll never forget uh, he said did y'all catch any fish uh, they said no uh, we didn't catch no fish. Uh, we've been fishing all night. Uh, he said, cast your net uh, to the right side. Uh, 
what side is the right side, Gamma? Uh, I'm glad you asked. Uh, he said, put your net over there uh, where the fish is at. Uh, glory to God. I'm not talking about my right hand or my left hand. Uh, the right side is where the fish is. Uh, and he said, well, we fish all night. Uh, nevertheless, uh, I didn't catch anything. Uh, but at your word, uh, at his word, uh, that's how come Abraham uh, become the father of faith. Um, because he take God uh, at his word. Uh, you got to believe him uh, at his word. Oh, oh yes, the promise was uh, that he become the father uh, of many nations. Uh, he was a father, uh, but he become more than that. Uh, he become the father uh, of faith. Uh, your faith in him. Uh, it's the thing that's going to help you uh, receive the promise of God. Uh, it was Moses, uh, not his eloquence. Uh, it was Moses' faith. Uh, it, you know he couldn't talk. Uh, he just mumble and fumble. Uh, the reason I know he couldn't talk, uh, amen, because God had to send Aaron with him. Uh, glory to God, but he had faith. Uh, glory to God, and God used his faith. Uh, not his speech of eloquence. Uh, God uses, you know why God uh, used some people uh, so mightily. Uh, and you know why God take us uh, like us uh, is nothing uh, and make something out of us. Uh, God will take a nobody uh, and make them somebody. Uh, Abraham didn't have a great, great background. Uh, Moses did not have a great background. You and I didn't have no great background. We wasn't rich. Uh, we wasn't eloquent. Uh, we couldn't read. Uh, we couldn't write. But look at us now. God take us uh, and make somebody. Uh, God took Moses um, and show him hope. Uh, show him the promise. Uh, he was in already uh, with some rich people. Uh, but God take him uh, and help him. He could have stayed there and enjoy uh, in Pharaoh's house uh, all the riches, uh, all the eloquence. Uh, but God took him uh, and he re reject uh, and he he decided uh, he want to make his place uh, with the people of God. That's why God uh, wanted him. Uh, God takes a nobody. Uh, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad today of what God do with his people. He said unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly. And above all, we could ask a thing. He's constantly upgrading us from glory to glory he's constantly working it up so you who might get this courage along the way don't you worry about it sometime god will allow some things and our faith will be tested in them you know our greatest movement our greatest upgrade come out of the droughts the greatest upgrade the greatest experience we'll ever had come out of drought and come out of the trouble we go through but trouble don't last always if we just hold on this a little while longer, everything will be all right. See, God skips us along, just like they do on them chess board. I didn't know what in the world they were doing on them chess board. They'll take something and move it all the way over there and that. Well, God does that for us. He moves stuff all the way over different places to bless our life, your life, and my life. And he blesses us. Look what he's doing now. He got us in the one of the worst time in our life, we who are from uh we who are now here we up to 70 80 year old, and look what god doing i never seen nothing like this before in my lifetime as this but what god is doing he used that for the people of god that love him like roman in 8 and 28 we know that all things work together for the good to them he moved and used these things to bless me and you how in the world can god yes he can do it paul said that he said unto him that is able, look what he do with Paul. Move him from persecuting the Christian, killing and beating the Christian. Move him from that point and make him so humble. Just like he would do you and I. Constantly upgrading. He's upgrading us. An upgrading process. And an upgrading process. This is what happened to us. We pray in the Lord that the Lord give you something out of this. This is what he gave me in my catastrophic theological collision with Ephesians 3 and 20 to bless me. The half had been told, they ain't all yet. It more to come. You need to touch somebody and say, there's more in my life. So you ain't seen all of me yet. 
you got to tell people that. You haven't seen all of me yet. Amen. Have had been told. God bless you. I love you. Thank you for joining with me and that message that blessed me. Thank God for you. God bless you. Amen.